What is up everybody and welcome back to the Picking Fruits channel. Today's video will be the promised update to part one, multi-sport germinations of our series, How to Grow Mushrooms. Today, you are who you are today. See? You're still me, but you're a newer version. Thank you for joining us today. I am very excited to show you uh, some of these results that we got from our first germination attempt. Uh, this first plate is going to be AA Texas. And these next two plates after this plate that I'm going to show you, germination that took place 48 hours after the filming of our last video. It's not the first time that I see fast germinations like this, but it is always surprising. It is always very exciting. We are using our DHLR camera uh, over a magnifying uh, jeweler's lens to show you these close-ups and hopefully uh, they do justice to the specimen because the specimen looks very beautiful in person. So as you can see some of these spots are starting to grow some rhizomorphic uh, strands but a lot of the growth is still very tomatose uh, but that's to be expected from multi-sport germinations. This next plate is the Ecuador also showing very very promising growth you can still see some of the very very dark spores that I placed on there originally and uh, the streaking method actually worked really well you can see that most of the plate is covered I would say about 70% of the plate is covered uh, we'll give this a couple more days before we start making transfers for the next part of our series up next this is the third uh, germination within the 48 hour period and this one here is the white rabbit I am extremely excited about this. A lot of people have reported that the white rabbit multi-sport culture is extremely hard to work with. As you can see, uh, the growth here is starting to barely get going with. And if you remember this from the last video, uh, this was the very, very last swab that we actually put to agar. And the way that we tried to hydrate some of the spores in the sample was to cut a little bit of the cotton and get it really, really saturated on the agar. A tip that I got from the cultivator who harvested these spores uh, was to actually do that and I'm glad to know that it worked. Here is another white rabbit that also germinated using the technique we talked about. Up next we have the GJ squat which is a KOH squat and this here is a strain that actually uh, sporulates. There is another squat, KOH squat out there that does not make spores and one of the ways that we can tell that the spores have actually germinated is uh, looking at the density in the mycelium. If you can tell there's a part of the mycelium in the middle that looks a little bit uh, spongy or cottony, it looks like there's something on the actual agar and if you look at the rim around it, it looks uh, very clear, very similar to what it looks like when there's nothing on the plate. These next two plates are the last two plates of the A8 Texas. Uh, these actually germinated on the third day and not the second day like the previous specimen. And as you can see here, this is a more uh, clear plate with lighter colors and you can definitely see the growth around the center where the spores were germinated. These next two plates are uh, the two other plates of the Ecuador uh, that I spored very heavily from the spore print. And you can see the growth on these plates actually looks a little bit better than the growth from the swab plates which is an indicator that more spores, uh, better chances of germination and, and better quality mycelium that you're going to grow. Up next we have the PE streak germinations. And these two plates happen to be some of my favorite plates. You can see the a very particular circle uh, colony formations on the plates and they're both showing the same characteristics. Next we have the Roatan Honduras. These have also uh, grown some thick mycelium from the germination sites. And the last but not least for this update are the three albino BMR. Um, that's really hard to tell because of the condensation. Uh, but on this next plate, you'll be able to tell a little bit better. As you can see, the mycelium growth is a little bit wider than the plate allowing us to see it a little bit better. And this is a third plate from that streaking, also showing some nice growth. And now I'm gonna be showing you uh, three, or what I suspect to be three failed plates. And these happen to be from the same swab, and the swab was the SWPE. Uh, these also germinated on in the 
48 hour mark uh, but as you can see that yellow growth and uh, green growth there are not what we're looking for um, this one just I just saw the germination on this one just this morning um, but I also suspect it to be bacterial uh, but we'll see I'm gonna hold on to these and hopefully uh, we do see some mycelium growth and if we do we'll have a uh, an episode where we show you how to outrun contamination and that's it for this episode you guys thank you for joining us uh, if you found this entertaining or if you found it informative please consider subscribing hitting that like button and join us for the next one appreciate you what is up everybody and welcome back to the picky fruits channel today's video will be the promised update of our how to grow mushroom series multi-spore video one <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Picky Poo channel. Okay. <laughs> Go. Welcome. What is up? <laughs> oh my god! Wow! No, it's still there. No, it's on your turn. No, it's on this. Wasn't it?